and I'm doing my clinical rotation at the Asian Pacific Development Center located in Aurora um, in, on Colfax Avenue and Alton Street. It's amazing to see how much one can learn from a community simply by just um, just by observing. So, um, Driving by, I was able to determine that one of the strongest assets of this community is their um, access to public transportation that is accessible to many individuals. It allows easy access to downtown, um, as well as transporting to the nearest hospitals, which include Medical Center Aurora, UC Health, and Children's. Although I haven't used the RTD before, I can assume that um, during the first uh, couple of experiences, it might be quite quite scary because um, not many individuals um, know what the bus schedule is and where many of the buses are headed. So um, being able to have a printed bus schedule that is handed out to the um, individuals who don't have access to it would be very helpful. But if that's not the case and that um, individuals who don't have access to Wi-Fi or um, electronics could be in disadvantage. And also, since the RTD is a pretty big vehicle, um, many would think that it's not very energy efficient, although in the long run, I think it is because many more individuals fit in the bus and are able to go, go to a different place all at once um, rather than driving individual cars at once. Um, as far as cost, cost goes, it can um, cost as little as $2.60 per one-way trip, depending on location. Um, another strong asset of this community is that many of the small businesses are located on Colfax, um, which allows individuals in the community to have easy access to, um, to jobs and restaurants, um, such as in stores, to buy their basic necessities, which is um, also quite um, quite striking to me that that there's all those um, small businesses located there, um, which is very good. Um, the only biggest um, business that I saw there was uh, Walmart, which um, could also be very good because people will have act more access to buying fresh fruit and, um, and vegetables. As I drove by, um, I also saw one park that seemed to be really well kept up. They have um, access to a playground, skateboarding, sidewalks, and an open space where there's grass, which is an outstanding asset because uh, this park seems to be v visited by a variety of different people and it looks um, such uh, from different cultures such as Latinos, African Americans, white, and even homeless um, individuals. I did notice that um, certain races and cultures don't just, uh, they're not just in one specific location rather than everywhere in between, um, which is, which I think is fascinating to have a variety of different cultures within just one community. Coming from a public health perspective, one of the biggest challenges that I noticed as I drove by the neighborhood was that I noticed that most of the housing was a bit older and they seemed to be built around the 1940s, 1950s. And some of the buildings and houses were in semi-good condition. Although some of the housing and apartments seemed to be run down and overcrowded um, and many in need of repair. but. As far as the yards go, some of them were were neat and some of them were outgrown. But who I'm not sure what they look like during the summertime. Um, another disadvantage that I noticed was the amount of traffic on Colfax Avenue that has um, a lot of a variety of different vehicles travel throughout this avenue, such as vans, buses, and private cars. Due to the high amount of traffic, gridlock does occur quite often, especially uh, when there's construction. Um, seeing people on bikes on Colfax Avenue was quite striking due to the high amount of traffic. Um, my concern there is uh, the safety of people riding their bicycles because there aren't any bike lanes and then a lot of places do not really offer bike racks, 
Um, so it can be quite, um, quite unsafe to be out on Colfax on a bicycle and not, not even having a place on where to park your bike. The most unexpected aspect of the community uh, was a variety of different cultures that was um, that I was able to see while driving around for a couple of minutes. Um, I thought that during that in this community, um, the majority would be the Hispanic culture. Although by driving around, I saw so many different different cultures, such as Asian, Hispanic, African Americans, and other cultures. And one of the most striking aspects of the community um, was just seeing all of the small businesses. Um, so I'm very happy to know that this will allow people to have more jobs and to be able to purchase basic items. And so the biggest takeaway message uh, from this assignment was knowing that um, when we take the time to actually observe a community, you can learn a lot about the culture and um, a lot about the benefits and challenges that many individuals face depending on the location in which they live in. Um, so it did teach me to be a little bit more humble and try to be more understanding of where people are coming from and to get to their level in order to be able to help them more. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Have a nice day.